Okay, in this video, we're going to look at some final examples with the Russian peasant method, some tougher number combinations, and I think you'll see that even with higher number combinations, by having and doubling uh, the amount of steps we have, although they could be tougher, really won't need to go beyond the length of a page that you're given. All right, if you think about the power of really having and doubling a number. So anyway, if we have 36 times 48, what I'm saying is if I have 36 a few times, it, it'll be not many steps before I reach 1. Because if I have 36, even though it's a large number, what do I get? Well, I get 18. And already I've halved it in size. And then I take 48 and double it, and what do I get? 96. Okay, I can half 18 to 9. I can double 96. Well, 90 doubled is 180. 6 doubled is 12. 180 plus 12 is 192. And now here is where I went to my issue, where I have nine groups of 192. But how can I half that number? Well, I can think of it as 8 and 1. Right? That's what 9 is, and that can be multiplied by 192. So I want to find the, the product of this. Well, if I just leave one of the 192s behind, and then solve for 8 and 192 and add back together later, I'll still get the same answer. So let me do that. And if I do that, if I leave this 192 up here, the 1 right here, <coughs> I can move forward with 8 times 192. I can half that. Well, 8 halved is 4. Double 192. Well, bring it in parts. I double 100, and I get 200. I double 90, and I get what? 180. I double 2 and I get 4. Add these up, I get 384. Okay, again, halving and doubling, I have 4 to get 2. And I have again, I get to get 1. That'll be my final step. Take 384, double that. 300 doubled is 600. 80 doubled is 160. 4 doubled is 8. If I add these up, I get 768. And last step, I got a double 768. Well, 700 doubled is 1400. 60 doubled is 120. 8 doubled is 16. If I add these up, I get 6, 3, 5, 1. 1536. But, but that was reduced from 8 times 192. We have to add back in the other 192 that we left out. So it becomes the sum of 1536 and 192. Add the 6 and the 2 to get 8. Add the 3 and the 9, I get 12. Carry that 1. Add 5 and 2 to get 7. And the other one's right there. And there's my answer, 1,728. And now, I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video, but you can see that when you divide by 2 over and over again, even with starting with a larger number, right, we cut it down half right away, and before too long, we will get to the last step when we reach 1. So don't be afraid to try the Russian method of multiplication for larger numbers. It's fun. All right, thanks.